Hi guys, my name is Lauren and you're watching Dreams Life Courage. And today I'm going to be doing my 2016 favorites video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything from makeup to decor to the adventures I've been on to basically everything that's happened in my life that's really just made it better in some way no matter how little or how big. And I have so much stuff that I want to talk about in this video, so I'm going to try and not talk about everything for too long, but I do have a problem with doing that, so we'll see how that turns out. But let's go ahead and get into my favorites of the year, starting with hair. So first, I'll talk about what I typically use in the shower, and for that, I have my Herbal Essences Naked Collection of both the shampoo and the conditioner, and these have no paraben in them, and I really love the scents of these. They are rosemary and mint, and they just smell so relaxing, so I love using these in the shower. And they're also meant to give your hair hydration, which I feel like mine definitely needs. So I love using these on my hair, and just the fact that they have no paraben in them makes me feel better about what I'm putting in my hair. And these just leave my hair full and clean and without any toxins in them, so I really love using these. But towards the end of 2016, I actually got highlights in my hair, so I decided that I needed some shampoo and conditioner that had color care in it. So I picked up the L'Oreal Everpure Sulfate Free Color Care System, and I have the Moisture Shampoo and the Repair and Defend Conditioner. And again, I like that they take out some chemicals out of them and make your hair feel more clean and without chemicals after you use these. Plus, again, these have great scents. This one has rosemary and this one has goji and acai, so they both smell amazing. And again, I just really love using them in my hair and I do feel like they help with keeping color in my hair. And next, I have the deep conditioner that I really enjoy using and that is the Not Your Mother's Intensive Hair Unit Renewal Treatment. And I just love using this deep conditioner. Again, I feel like it just makes my hair feel very clean and also just leaves it feeling very smooth and glossy. And as it says on the front, it helps nourish, moisturize, and tame frizz. And so if you're looking for a deep conditioner, I would definitely recommend this one. I really enjoy using it and I feel like it definitely helps strengthen my hair and just make it better overall. Next I have a spray that I use in my hair and this is the Redken 25 Benefits One United all-in-one multi-benefit treatment and I really love using this. I don't know if I feel all 25 benefits but it definitely makes my hair feel more smooth and glossy and definitely comes frizz. It has a lot of other benefits to it but overall I just love putting this in my hair because of how much better I feel that my hair looks after I put it in. Maybe that's just placebo but I really feel like this works and I just really enjoy using this. And the last hair product that I have comes from Sexy Hair and that is from the Style Sexy Hair line and it's the H2NO 3 Shine 1 Hold 3 Day Style Saver Dry Shampoo. And I love using this as a dry shampoo and overall I just feel like it gives my hair more volume. Even if I don't really need it yet but I just want more volume in my hair then I'll use it. It doesn't come out white or anything like that. So even if you like miss a spot of rubbing it in you still won't be able to tell. And overall I just feel like this is a great dry shampoo. So those are all of my hair products that I loved in 2016. But I also just wanted to mention that I got highlights near the end of 2016 that I am absolutely loving. They're not super noticeable or anything but the blonde streaks in my hair are the highlights and I really like them. They're very subtle but I just really love the way that they look and the way that they give more dimensions to my hair so I'm glad that I finally did something with my hair. Even if it's just a little something, I love how it makes my hair look. And next to move on to face. So first I have this facial cleanser which is from Made Simple. I'm pretty sure that's the company name. And this is Purity Made Simple and I love using this. It just smells amazing and it just also really feels like it's helping with my face and just smoothing everything out and making it feel a lot softer. And just overall, I feel like it really cleans my face and really cleans out my pores without using any really harsh chemicals, so I really appreciate that. Although it's not a huge help with acne, it is just a really great cleanser. If you don't have like acne problems, you do want to use something on your face besides just soap, I would definitely recommend this. Next, I have two different moisturizers because I always feel like I need to be moisturizing my face because my face is always so dry. So in the mornings, I use my Clean & Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer, and I feel like this definitely helps, especially before putting on makeup, so then I don't really have dry spots on my face. And also, this just feels really great, especially whenever you wake up and put it on. It just makes you feel a little bit more awake, which I definitely need in the mornings. And then at night, before I go to sleep, I use the Clean & Clear Advantage 
Acne Control Moisturizer, which I also really like. As you can tell, I definitely like cleaning Clear's products. I like using this one overnight for my acne and just to help with that. It's not really great at hydrating my skin, but I really need it for my acne, and so I feel like that's the best time to wear it. And it also just helps with making my skin feel smooth, and I just really love the Clean and Clear products overall. And this last thing, I'm not really sure if I should consider it with the facial products, but honestly, I just don't know where else to put it, and that is my toothbrush, and I have a Philips Sonicare toothbrush. I haven't had this for very long, and these are quite pricey toothbrushes, but I definitely feel like they're worth the price. I just feel like these do such a great job with cleaning your teeth more than an average toothbrush would. And this is an electric toothbrush, but unlike most electric toothbrushes, this one comes with a charger instead of using batteries, which definitely helps to make it cost less, and I just overall really like this toothbrush, and I just feel like it does a really great job of cleaning my teeth, and I would definitely recommend this. And next, we're moving on to body care products. So first, I have my body wash. And this is the Soft Soap Body Scrub Coconut Butter Exfoliating Body Wash. As you can tell, I really love relaxing scents whenever I'm taking a shower. So this, again, has a really great smell of coconut, which I really love. And it also has, like, the little beads in it to help exfoliate your body, which I also really think is great and makes my body feel more clean. And overall, I just really like this body wash. Next, I have my shaving cream, and that is the EOS Shave Cream, which you might not think is that great if you don't like the chapstick. I'm not a huge fan of their chapstick, but I do really love their shaving cream. It is so moisturizing and leaves your legs feeling so smooth and you really don't have to use a lot of it whenever you're shaving. I feel like you can just use a little bit. It has shea butter and aloe in it and it just leaves your legs feeling so smooth for days. And it's also paraben free which is great and I just overall highly highly recommend this shaving cream. I don't think I would ever use another one because this one just works amazingly. And the next two items might feel a little bit awkward for some of you to talk about but it is deodorant. And the first one I have is from La Vanilla and it is the healthy deodorant in the fragrance of vanilla lavender and I love this so much because it is 100% natural and it has no aluminum and no parabens in it, but I don't feel like these are like the most amazing deodorants in the world. Although they are a lot healthier for your body, if you're working out on that day, you probably don't want to be using this, but if you're not, I would highly recommend this, and so I use this on the days that I'm not working out. So when I am working out, I use the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray. I've learned that I really like to spray deodorants, and I feel like this one works well for whenever I'm working out. It does have aluminum in it, so I don't like to use this often, but if I am working out, I honestly cannot find a deodorant that works well whenever you're working out that doesn't have aluminum in it. So I do use this one, and I do like it, although I wouldn't recommend using deodorants with aluminum. If you do work out a lot, I would suggest this one. I also wanted to mention, along with my shaving cream, of course I have my razor. And the one that I like to use is the Chic Hydro Silk Razor. I feel like these work great, and especially like the first few times you're using it. It has like stuff that comes out that's a lot like shaving cream. I really feel like you don't need shaving cream with this one, but I use it anyways just to make sure. So again, I would highly recommend this razor. And then lastly for body, I'll be talking about the perfume that I use the most this year. And for me, that was the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist that I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite fragrances to use, and it's very affordable, which is the reason why I usually use this instead of my other fragrances. I just really love the smell of this one. It smells sweet, but it's not like too sweet or anything. It's more of a natural sweet smell. So I really love this one, but I'm almost out, so I'm definitely going to have to get another one of these soon. And also, since I'm talking about body, I feel like I should be talking about nail polish as well. So the two nail polishes that I feel like I've loved the most this year is this one from Essie, which is the shade of Marshmallow. I typically go for very bright, vibrant colors, but I really like how this one looks, and I feel like it's a great color for any time of year. I just really love how it looks on my nails. And then I have a Sonia Kashuk nail polish, and this is in the shade Jewel Orchid, and this is definitely more along the lines of the type of nail polish that I usually use. It's this very jewel-toned purple, and purple is one of my favorite colors, so I absolutely love the shade and just the nail polish itself. And also for the face section of this video, the two things that I use for acne spot treatment is this from e.l.f., which doesn't actually have a name on it, but I feel like this works pretty well. And then this from Clean and Clear, which is the Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. I'll usually alternate between the two because I feel like my acne will get used to one, and then it'll stop being as effective, so I usually switch off. But I really like using both of these, and I feel like they're both affordable and effective for their price. And next, I'll be talking about my favorite makeup of the year, and I'll try to be quite quick with this one, since I feel like this video is already going to be quite long. So first, I'll start with my favorite primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And obviously, I only have the little sample size 
of it, but I'll probably be getting a bigger one of this. It just makes your skin feel very smooth and it stays on for quite a long time. So I'm definitely very happy with this. Next, I have my favorite BB cream, which is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in the shade of light. And I've loved using this all year round, but I especially use it in the summertime because it has SPF 35. And in the summer, sometimes I'll just put this on and no other makeup if I'm going somewhere and I just find that I really, really enjoyed this. You don't even have to put primer on with this one because it's a primer in itself. But either way, I just really love using this and I've used it so much and I'm definitely planning on buying another one of these. And next for my favorite foundation, I have the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And this is the normal to oily one in the shade of 115 Ivory. This isn't like the most amazing foundation in the world, but I feel like it's definitely very great for its price. And it's definitely a great daily foundation to have. Next, I have my eye makeup. So first, I have my favorite eyeshadow of the year, which is my Sonia shook eyeshadows. This one is the bronze beauty one and I love this one although you can kind of tell that it broke which makes me quite sad because this is definitely my favorite one but I just love these shades and how they look on. Even though Sonia Kashuk is a lower cost brand, I feel like they do a great job with makeup and I really, really love their eyeshadows, especially this one and the colors within this one. Next, I have my favorite eyeliner, which is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I really love this one. You really can't even see the words on it anymore because I use it every single day. I love using this eyeliner, although I definitely need to find a cheaper alternative to using this, but this is by far my favorite eyeliner ever. I love using this. It has a great color to it and I love how it applies. And my favorite mascara of 2016 has definitely been the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I use this every single day. I love this one so much. It just makes your eyelashes look longer and thicker and just better overall. I can't imagine using another mascara now because this one is amazing. I think it costs around $30 but it's definitely worth that price because it is so good and lasts for quite a long time. I love the wand of this one and how it applies and just everything about this mascara. I highly, highly recommend this. And then for blush, I have the NARS Orgasm, which is such a great blush. It stays on for a long time, and I feel like it's the perfect color. My favorite highlighter of the year is the Beauty Crop Lighting Crew. I love this one so much. It has like a rose gold tint to it, and it's just so beautiful. I love using this, and I just love how it looks on. Next, I have my favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And this is the light to medium neutral one. I feel like this concealer does a great job, although I feel like I got a little bit too dark of a shade. It's a great concealer and I would highly recommend it, especially since Tarte is such a great company because they are cruelty free and they use a lot of natural ingredients in their makeup. So I definitely love this company and definitely want to keep supporting them. Next, I'll try to quickly talk about all of my lip stuff because I love lipstick, obviously, but I don't want to make this whole video about lipstick. But first, I'll just mention the chapstick that I always use and that is the Chapstick Total Hydration one in Soothing Oasis. I feel like there is no better chapstick than this one. I love using it and I just feel like this one works great. Next for actual lipstick, I have a Marc Jacobs lipstick, which is obviously in a sample size. And this is in the shade of 216 Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I love this shade. I feel like it looks great on everyone. It's such a pretty color and I feel like it looks good no matter what you're wearing. And it's also just a very smooth and great lipstick, although it's probably too pricey. I am glad that I have it in its sample size. And next, I have some of the Pacifica Natural Minerals Power of Love powerful color natural lipstick and I have four of them so far. I love these so much. They're so smooth and they are very natural looking colors but they're also just very very pretty. Two of these are in the nudie red shade and then I have one that's tender heart and the other one is sweet one but I love these so much. I highly recommend them. They're vegan and all natural and just a great company overall and these lipsticks are just some of my absolute favorites. And lastly I have two lipsticks from the Katie Cat Matte Collection from CoverGirl and Katy Perry. I have the Sphinx shade and the Cat Call shade and I love these so much. Right now I'm wearing the Sphinx shade which is a very natural shade and as you can see at the bottom of the Cat Call one, that one is a very bright shade. I love both of them. They're just very smooth and definitely a cheaper alternative to some of the other lipsticks I've talked about. I love the packaging of them and the colors they come in and I just overall really enjoy these lipsticks. And next to move on to fashion, I really don't have that many things because for the most part this year I've just been a 
about comfort and so most of my clothes are just comfort clothes. And I've mostly just worn like t-shirts and shorts. One new thing that I found that I love to wear is caps. Obviously I have my SMU cap right here and I wear this all the time. I love this cap. And just showing my support for my school but also I just love wearing caps especially on bad hair days. And then the other two things that I have are just shoes. So first I have my Nike sneakers and I wear these all the time. I love these so much. The color of them and how they fit and how comfortable these are so I highly recommend Nikes not just for working out but just for every day and these are the Nike free 4.0 fly knits and the last thing I don't even know if I should be considering this fashion but they are my house slippers I wear these like every day so I feel like I should mention them they're just so comfy and I'm so glad that I have slippers these are great to have at college but also I just love wearing them at home as well I got these at Target and I just love slippers and I'm so happy that I got some next I'll quickly talk about jewelry because there's not a lot to talk about with jewelry because I typically just wear the same jewelry all the time but my boyfriend got me a new necklace this year so of course this is one of my favorites. I love this so much and we actually did a video of kind of putting it together so I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want to watch that. And then I feel like this was kind of the year of chokers so I also got a choker from Urban Outfitters and I love this one so much. It is purple which as I've said before is one of my favorite colors and it has crushed velvet on it which I also love. So as I said before there's not a lot to talk about with jewelry because I typically do not buy jewelry unless someone buys it for me but I really love the jewelry that I've gotten this year and I definitely wear it all the time. Next I'll quickly talk about some of my entertainment favorites for the year. So for my favorite TV show I have to go with Stranger Things. If you have not yet seen Stranger Things go and watch it. It is so amazing. I love that show so much and it's only eight episodes long so it's very quick to watch. I just had to pick it as my favorite because I just am always thinking about it and just what happened in it. It's just such a crazy show and there are just so many questions left unanswered and so I'm so looking forward to season two but I would highly highly recommend that you go and watch the show. It is absolutely incredible. And for my movie favorite for 2016, I cannot just go with one movie because I'm part of two huge fandoms that I absolutely love. So the first one being the Harry Potter fandom and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and the other one being the Star Wars fandom and Rogue One. I've loved both of those movies so much this year. They've just meant so much to me and really brought back so many memories of watching both of those series as I was growing up and of course I still watch those all the time. I just really love those movies so much. They're just amazing in every single way and I'm definitely a bit biased but I love both of those movies even if they both kind of broke my heart a little bit and I'm so excited that there are many movies to come in both of those universes. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about is my favorite adventure of the year. And my favorite adventure has to be going on a cruise to Cozumel and Progreso, Mexico. And my favorite moment of that was, of course, snorkeling with my boyfriend Hunter when we were swimming with all of the stingrays and the other fish in the ocean. And if you want to see a video of that, I'll link one down below. Although 2016 has definitely had some rough moments for me overall, I just had a great time this year and made a lot of great memories. And I'm just hoping that 2017 will be an amazing year, both for for me and for all of you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos in 2016 and for supporting me and supporting the birth of this new channel and this new venture of mine. Also, I just wanted to give a little bit of a channel update for 2017. As you might have already noticed, I have changed up my thumbnail a little bit just for the new year. And I also have different types of videos planned. So first off, as you've already seen, if you saw my what I got for Christmas video, I got a smaller camera that I can use for vlogs. So I definitely plan on starting to do vlogs in 2017. Also, I just want to do some more DIY types of videos. I'm not amazing at DIY, but I feel like it's a really fun thing to do, especially to make videos of. And I hope to make more what to wear videos this year because I I love making those videos and also doing more challenge types of videos with my friends because those are always so much fun to film. So those are just a bit of the ideas that I have for 2017. I still just plan on posting one video every Thursday and maybe sometimes Saturdays if I miss a video the previous week. I just love making videos and I'm having so much fun making videos on my new channel as well as on my booktube channel and I hope you guys are really enjoying them too. Definitely tell me down below if you have any video suggestions for this channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.